I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no. What is going on, guys? Shibby2142 here. I'm gonna talk about some of the cool kill streaks I've gotten in Modern Warfare 3. So first is the assault drone, which airdrops, and then you can control it. So I was not aware of controlling it. I thought you just dropped it and it kind of did its own thing. So I'm pretty sure my character is going to die in the middle of the street because I'm just kind of a boss like that. And the drone is equipped with a light machine gun and a rocket launcher. So you do drive this thing around. It's pretty mobile and it does quite a bit of damage. So rocket launcher also does, I mean, double kill right there. So it, it's the rocket machine they talk about. This thing is 10 kills on the assault kill streak. So that is how many you need to use this little beast. If you notice to the right of the crosshair, you see how much ammo I have and if there's a rocket in the chamber. So it looks like I have to either shoot all of my ammo before it reloads or maybe I can hit the R button. I was messing around with that and I couldn't really figure it out quite that much. But when you shoot the rocket, there is a reload period so you can't just spam that up. And then the drone gets taken down. So we're moving next to the AC-130, which is a 12 kill streak. Because I want to help you get better at Call of Duty, here's a little tip that this map is resistance. Running high kill streaks on this is not a good idea just because of how it's designed. It's not super effective. In any other map, usually the AC-130 would lay waste, but not the case, just how this is once again designed. So, like I said, the AC-130 is pretty awesome. It does stay up for 30 seconds and you have three choices of your guns. That being the 25mm, the 45mm, and the 105mm, just so you know that you have to cycle through all the weapons to go through the guns. You can't just shoot the big cannon and then go to the secondary one. You actually have to go through all of them. So my AC-130 then disappears. I was not really quite ready for that. Then I put a bullet in the ground like a boss. Next up, I am showcasing the remote turret, which is 12 kills on the support kill streak ladder. What you do is you deploy and manually control a remote turret. You can enter and exit the turret, view at will, and also redeploy the turret at any time. So I was not aware that you could redeploy, but supposedly you can. One thing you are susceptible to is flashbangs and grenades. So this guy knows I'm here and he is pinned behind this tank. His buddy will come run around the corner and I do waste him. I can't say that this remote turret is quite dripping the chocolate sauce, but I do have to play with it more, see if I like it, and let's move on to the next kill streak. It's raining, men. Hallelujah. Oh no, it's just the escort airdrop, which is 18 kills on your support kill streak ladder, which gives you something like five care packages, and then you can pick them up and then do work. But bonus is that the Osprey Gunner also sits above you while it drops and you collect them so it protects you so it's kind of cool personally i've not seen it defend very well i haven't noticed like oh man it really hooked me up there so here's another showcasing of it being used you throw your grenade it eventually comes in sometimes it takes quite a while on certain maps and it usually happens later game within i'd say domination in tdm you really have to be doing work to earn it because sometimes you know just 18 kills are uh, shared between your team and that will just kind of be the average so i try to get between 20 to 30 kills per game and that usually is possible during domination so i usually get this beast if i'm using it because once again with the support kill streak class does not reset when you die so eventually you will earn these things if you just keep killing people oh and did i mention that you can get juggernaut so basically this escort airdrop will drop any of the kill streak packages that you can have within the support. So you're not going to be getting an AC-130 or a nuke or anything crazy like that, the uh, mother of all bombs. I have received a sentry gun, which just happened in this gameplay if you are paying attention. So saying just support kill streaks come in the escort airdrop is false. Here I'm using the recon drone, which is 10 kills once again within the support kill streak. It's a controllable UAV helicopter. You use it to mark, slash, tag, slash, violate, slash, sexually molest your enemies, and your teammates can then see them. You do get some points for this, but it's quite boring. This thing does not fly very well. It's not like any kind of cool missiles fly down to kill them. So, I don't know. Maybe if you're that kind of player, but for me, this really isn't fun. You can't really fly that high. I have uh, flown it on the village map and then lost control because it was just slightly too high. I'm like, wow, that is so dumb. So use 
shift to descend, space to ascend, that is on the PC, and then using my Juggernaut, then Stealth Bomber, which is one of the cooler support kill streaks because it actually kills people pretty nicely if you use it right. It's at 14 kills, carpet bombs the selected area, it's undetectable and cannot be shot down by the enemy. Lastly, another escort airdrop, which is once again the Osprey Gunner kill streak, but basically the AI controls that. It drops down here and drops me some awesome care packages, hopefully, so it just poops them out, and then we'll uh, see what happens. So that's basically the video, guys, talking about the kill streaks I've gotten so far. Just some info, giving you a heads up. That is an airdrop trap, which is five kills on the support kill streak, and basically it explodes. I've seen it kill three or four people in one explosion, and then an IMS, which shoots little pods in the air when people walk by and blows up. So that's a lot of information in a short little video trying to help you get better at Call of Duty. Please subscribe for more. Check out the video links in the description. Got a lot of stuff there, such as Twitter and Facebook, etc., etc., and hopefully I will see you next time.